Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini for the week of June 8th through the 14th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, so this may or may not be for you. So what do we have for Gemini for the week of June 8th? I have opened up more slots if anybody wants a reading. The, the link is under in the description of the video. So, what do we have for Gemini for the week of June 8th through the 14th? Ooh, children. Children. And it doesn't matter if it's upright or not. Not, not. Either way. Children are affecting your life. Okay, this, this. This uh, this week is is involving children. Children, it's going to be oriented around children. Children, and it came out. You could say it came out reverse. So that means it may be a negative effect. There could be something going on with your children, and it may not be the best. Okay. Um, either way, this week is going to be uh, revolving around your children, or your. In, there could be a conflict with your children. Okay, something is going on, but we'll see what happens. It doesn't have to be a conflict, but there could be. Um, let's just see. Looks like there's three children here. Um, two girls and a boy. doesn't have to be. Um, interesting. So something to do with children. Uh, this child looks surprised. This one looks a little discontent, like uh, she got her hands on her hips. You may have one child that is uh, sassy, per se. This one looks pretty content doing her own thing, you know, comfortable. This one is like ambitious and maybe a little mischievous. So we got some issues going on here. Um, What do we have for Gemini for the week of June 9th? Could be something going on where you get together with your, with all these children. There's like a powwow or something. Ooh, Monday, Ace of Cups reverse and the Page of Cups reverse. Well, ain't that just wonderful? Tuesday, Justice reversed and the Tower reversed. Well, hell. those right there um, Thursday please Friday I will zoom that down in just a second Friday Ooh. Saturday a couple of cards here I'll zoom it down now We're on the Saturday and Sunday what do we have for Sunday And overall energy for the week with these cards, please, for Gemini. Oh, there it is, Ten of Cups. So it's about a happy family. It's about happiness. It's about comfort. Um, developing a relationship. Happily ever after. Um, it feels like there could be a get-together of some sort with your family. Um, Ten of Cups is about fulfillment and permanent love. Something like that. So it looks like the overall week is going to be about a children, family, love, happiness. Monday, there could be some tears, okay? There could be some tears. Both these cards represent tears, okay? There could be um, some issue with your child, okay? A page of Cups is a child. Maybe your, your child can't master their emotions or... There's a lot of tears or there's some sort of sadness or something like that. The Ace of Cups is in reverse is not being able to master emotions and a lot of tears coming out. Could be an emotional blockage or a loss of emotional content. There could be a rejection. There could be some sad news that comes in. I just have to be honest. Or you could just have a, I mean, the pages are immature. They can't master their emotions. There, somebody could be having a meltdown. You know, Monday looks like it could be a very emotional day. Um, why though? Let's get a card. Why? Why is Monday going to be so emotional? 
obviously there's going to be some upheaval somewhere. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is a mother. May have something to do with a mother. She's very solid, stable, secure. Um, work, 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 work. This is a worker. This is this is a this is a queen of work. Okay, so this is a working mother. Um, very grounded. Maybe a. Uh, you know, this this mother is very um, focused, focused on her work. She's focused on her stability. She um, is business-like. She's not very, she's not overly emotional. So we, we could have some tears there being shed or some sort of... Uh, blocking of emotion somebody's bear it could be you you could be burying yourself in your work you know what i mean you're working you're working you're not expressing your feelings um somebody may be feeling um like you don't love them or who knows you know kids come out with the darndest thing so i don't know what's going on but we, we may have a child that is um not feeling um or is not uh well, they can't control their emotions and they and they they're looking for some sort of security. Maybe they're insecure. They're looking for some sort of security. So you may have to, you know, um help somebody with that. You may have to help somebody with that. Um Tuesday. Justice reversed and the tower reversed. Now this is an injustice. Something isn't fair. This is bad luck, bad karma, something not going in your favor. This is a rude awakening. There could be a permanent loss with the tower reverse. This is a painful life change that isn't fair. Wow. Come on now. So this is Tuesday. There's upheaval. There's chaos. There's a foundation that is crumbling out of the blue. Uh, there could be some health problems. There could be a fight. Um, somebody is moving. You never saw it coming. So something could happen that is not fair. This isn't fair. You may be saying that. Some sort of chaos m might happen or something, uh, some sort of disruption, a dis uh, shocking event. Something could happen that causes disruption where, you know, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. So um, there's an imbalance. There's a lot. There's, somebody may also be being dishonest. They're not telling the truth, and that whoever isn't telling the truth, that is, that is um, lying, because this is lies, may be uh, causing upheaval. So there could be some upheaval in the house on Tuesday. This is about the kid, children, and I, I think this does have to do with a child that may be causing uh, issues. Okay, um, Tuesday looks as though, and this is placing blame. I don't know if you're dealing, you could be dealing with Libra, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but um, this Justice card reversed is uh, somebody isn't happy. Somebody isn't happy with the changes or something like that. Somebody's not happy. And they're causing chaos. So Tuesday, be prepared for an uproar of some sort. Could be from a child. Could be, you know, you know, the justice is um, usually usually the law. So there could be even a legal situation that doesn't go out in your favor, and it causes an uproar. Either way, there's going to be some sort of rude awakening on Tuesday that causes an uproar. Um, Hangman reverse could be dealing with the Pisces, could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Libra. The hangman in reverse is somebody that will not budge, somebody that is very stubborn, that is obsessed with control. Um, we have somebody that is uh, fighting, fight, fight, fight. There's going to be a fight on Tuesday with an individual that won't change, that won't budge, that is unwilling to cooperate. Um, so it's going to cause an imbalance in the house and uh, chaos, disruption. I think there's going to be some sort of um, breakdown. It could be an emotional breakdown. Definitely. Okay, so it looks like Monday and Tuesday are a little bit turbulent and I do apologize. But we do have a mother here that is very solid and secure and stable and grounded that can probably handle the situation very well. 
So that's great. So let's go on to Wednesday. This person might just be saying, this isn't fair, this isn't fair. You know, this person is stubborn, set in their ways, doesn't want change. So there's a person that doesn't want change. So anyway, Wednesday, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Now this is a loss. It could be a horrendous loss that you didn't expect. Two of Wands, the moment of decision. Now the, now the decision is being made. Somebody may be going back to something because the Wheel of Fortune is here and it's looking at going back. Somebody is looking or thinking about going back. Now, this is a commitment, an engagement, a marriage, a gathering, um, happiness, turning their back on a commitment and going back to something on Wednesday. So somebody may be thinking about or they're doing it, they are actually turning their back on a commitment and going backwards. Somebody may be going back to something that um, isn't positive. It's not positive. It's past mistakes coming back to haunt you. Repeating negative patterns. Somebody is looking at something that happened to them in the past. Or they're going back to the past. Something's not working out. Somebody is, this isn't working out. We have a we have a partnership or a commitment or something that doesn't seem to be working out. The two of wands, we have somebody that is um, trying to make a decision. They may have thought the grass was greener on the other side. They could be suddenly leaving feeling restless. Hmm. Somebody is, is thinking or deciding that they want to go back to something on Wednesday. They're turning their back on, 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 on a commitment for some reason. Making a decision. It's not a good time to start new things with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is bad timing. It's bad timing. Something is bad timing. But there's a lot, there's a desire. There is, you see, there's only one wand here. There's a desire. So there's sudden, somebody is suddenly doing something. This is a sudden action. Suddenly, if somebody could even be getting engaged here. It could be an engagement of some sort. Or a gathering that happens all of a sudden. Wednesday is, and it's all, it's exciting because of this Ace of Wands. This is an exciting new beginning. So there's somebody is somebody's relationship may be stepping it up a level, another level, but we have a setback here. This is a setback. Interesting. Overwhelmed, trying to do too much. Somebody is trying to prove themselves. They're trying to prove their their value. They're trying to prove that uh, what they can do. We have we on Wednesday. There's there's a feeling of this is too much. This is too much. Somebody may be feeling overwhelmed with the commitment they are in, and they may be thinking about turning their back on it. But there's love involved. There is love, okay? So there's love here. We have somebody here that has a lot of love to offer and is full of love. Interesting. So I think that this is an emotional week. I think it's intense. I think it's emo emotional because we have a, a commitment that is blossoming. But maybe maybe there's children that don't agree or there's disagreeable here. There is definitely disagreeable. Hmm. Wednesday, somebody is going to be expressing their feelings. And I feel like they're not going anywhere even though... Somebody may be pushing them to do so, causing them a lot, causing them to feel overwhelmed. Okay, somebody is going to be trying to push them to go in a different direction. 
but there's a lot of frustrations on Wednesday. We have somebody here that's going to be very, very frustrated, you know, and re-examining. I think that the, the Wednesday is a day of re-examining uh, the future because the Two of Wands is under there. So it's going to be, you know, there's there's something isn't right. Somebody is going overboard with the Ten of Wands and the Temperance reversed. There's a need for moderation. There's a need to re-examine. There's a need to be patient. So patience is needed on Wednesday. You're going to be tested, okay? Your patience is going to be tested on Wednesday. Probably by somebody that you're in a commitment with. Thursday. We have the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords. Now, that this, the Queen of Swords is could probably be you. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but the Queen of Swords is very much to the point. She's very factual. Uh, she knows what she wants. She demands the truth. Uh, speaks the truth. Is very authentic. Um, maybe pointing her finger at somebody. It feels that's what I just saw. Pointing their finger. Saying, this is what I want. This is what I want. So somebody may be saying, this is what I want. Um, somebody may also be ha being held accountable for their actions. This could be the law stepping in or a professional. Um, this is the highest authority. The Hierophant is the highest authority, a higher power, um, leading somebody in a certain direction, uh, calling you to have faith, to believe. This is definitely about a commitment. could have something to do with marriage. Um, this is the truth, speaking the truth, telling the truth, um, demanding the truth. So being very assertive. So I think we have, maybe probably you are going to be very assertive about your beliefs. Um, somebody's gut may be telling them that this is what they have to do. Or maybe somebody has received some information from a mentor or a counselor that is very good information. And somebody is um, following their gut, speaking what they know, saying what they know. It's going to be a verbal day on Thursday. Somebody is going to be speaking up for what they want. Um, you may, this, the Queen of Swords is very assertive. She's hard to deal with, but um, very honest and truthful, very wise. So we have a, a very wise, um, independent woman that is getting in some sort of commitment. She's honoring her gut. She's honoring her intuition. She's believing in the future. She's believing in herself. Very, very sharp. Very sharp. So there could be some um, guidance. Because this is guidance. I'm not sure if it's a I don't know if it's a guidance counselor or somebody from above that is that is giving this person the information that they need. It's interesting because it's pointing right over here. Um, the Queen of Swords is on Thursday is very passionate about something and she is going to speak her mind. So you may be, if you wear this, which you probably are, you're going to be speaking your mind about what you want, about what your gut tells you to do. So be prepared on Thursday to speak up for yourself, to go after what you want. It looks to me, this is a this is what you see. Okay, you see clearly that you have a new opportunity here. So I think you're going to be speaking fluently. Okay, you're going to be speaking with passion. You've got a new vision. You've got a new exciting opportunity. Maybe you got a new partner. Whatever this is, this is a new exciting opportunity that could lead to something long term. But you're going to have to be assertive and speak up for yourself and not let anybody tell you that you can't because it feels to me like you have somebody and maybe I don't know if it's your children or whatnot that are telling you you know you need you can't do this you know so it's causing upheaval it's causing this uproar so I think that you're having uh, problems at home with your family or your children over your current relationship or something like that and I think that you're going to need to stand up for yourself and tell whoever this person is that you know this is what you want and there's nothing they can do about it. So anyhow, um, Friday we have the Empress and the Death. So again, we have a mother here giving birth, delivering. This is the birth of a new life. This is a very experienced woman who 
life has a lot of life experience, has, has suffered a lot of pain. This is a new life and this is a new life. So this is the beginning of a new life on Friday. This is, this is uh, a very fertile time. Something when one thing ends, another thing begins. So we have a new beginning here. This is a transformation. It's a transition. It's uh, a new life after a separation, after um, a loss. So there is there is uh, starting over. Okay, um, this is a birth. Okay, it's a birth, or it's a pregnancy, or getting pregnant, or something like that. But this is the birth of something new. On Friday, a new beginning. Being loved and cared for. This is a profound change. So, this is a very motherly, caring, loving generous, abundant individual that is overflowing with love that is about to give birth to a new life. This is a new life beginning on Friday after a death. So it's being born, it's being starting over. You're starting something over on Friday. Something to do with a mother. Mm, why, why, why is this happening? This is why, 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 why. Uh, um, it is. This is uh, depression, despair. Why now? A test of faith. I'm not sure if something ends. Something could end. Or has ended which may have depleted you, it may have made you feel ashamed of yourself or caused you to lose hope. But now you see that this is a blessing because she gives birth to a blessing. So we have a blessing that is coming after some sort of desperate situation. Something ended badly, it did. But this is the chance for a new life. This is a rebirth after, you know, help not coming, a help not arriving after being in a desperate situation, which caused an ending that was very sad. This is sadness. But this is a blessing. So receiving a blessing for, and this kind of stuff is what gives the Empress life experience. Everything happens for a reason. So something ended for a reason because you're about to be blessed with something beautiful. She gives, it's a miracle. So something is happening on Friday that is absolutely beautiful. That will help you realize why something ended in the past. Hmm. You may get a delivery, put it that way, on Friday. A delivery of some sort. Let's talk about Saturday. Page of Pentacles reversed and the Five of Pentacles. Now this is abandonment. Somebody's been abandoned. They've been ghosted. They have a victim mentality. They won't ask for help. Somebody didn't put in effort. They gave up. They did not follow through. This person was lazy and didn't want responsibility or doesn't want responsibility. This person is giving up. There could be a child. This is somebody that doesn't want any responsibility whatsoever. Okay, not interested, not interested in helping, not interested in going down that path. This person has a victim mentality. So on Saturday, you're going to be dealing with this person that may be begging you for something. Maybe they're begging you for money. Could be a child. You may have a child that is begging for money. This is somebody that won't ask for help, that may need help. Um, 
this person is experiencing some definitely some financial hard times but they won't do anything about it so i think on saturday you may uh maybe you know we have mother here all over this is a mother who needs to take care of her children probably getting into some sort of commitment and her children don't like it but there's also children that need money and they need to be taken care of and they in there it feels like they're uh, demanding de their own way they want their own way you know I want my own way but anyway um, this you may have one child maybe it's a son doesn't have to be could be a daughter that comes begging for money on Saturday uh, this person um, doesn't really want to work doesn't work doesn't put in effort to even look for a job is probably unemployed um, whatever Saturday is a day of people, somebody begging you. They're begging you for money. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody's begging you for money on Saturday. On Sunday, six of swords reversed and the five of wands reversed. I think it's a child. Anyhow, six on Sunday, six of swords reversed and the five of, five of wands reversed. This is not going anywhere. And the end of a conflict. Not playing games, letting go not going to fight cooperating fed up it's the end of conflict finding peace not going anywhere so i think on sunday maybe these children realize that somebody isn't going anywhere and so the conflict ends and things start to get comfortable again. Could be a change in the home. Maybe somebody's moving in. Well, I don't know. Good luck. We have a new exciting opportunity here for a commitment or something long term that has been brought to you from above. You need to do what's right for you. Do not let anybody get in the way of your happiness. Good luck. 